Recently, there has been controversy over the safety of stimulant medications used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. As you probably know, ADHD is a common debilitating disorder characterized by inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. It affects 3 to 5 percent of children in the United States. Untreated ADHD has a poor prognosis. Almost half of ADHD students never finish high school. Stimulant drugs such as Adderall and Ritalin are commonly used methods of treatment. Numerous studies have shown these effective drugs to reduce the symptoms of ADHD considerably. The side effects of these medications include appetite loss, delayed sleep onset, and headaches. These are generally tolerable and mild and do not affect the decision to use the medications. On the other hand, there has been heightened concern among parents, doctors, and government health agencies regarding the cardiovascular side effects. As stimulants, Adderall and Ritalin are well known to moderately increase blood pressure and heart rate during active treatment. The pharmaceutical companies which manufacture these stimulants contend that the increases in heart rate and blood pressure are clinically insignificant and should not affect how they are prescribed. The cardiovascular effects may be more serious than these companies let on. Also, the potential risks are becoming more important as the diagnosis of ADHD has increased and stimulants are being prescribed for significantly longer periods of time. Add to this the increasing rates of hypertension, childhood obesity, and cardiovascular disease in the United States, and we have a serious concern on our hands. The FDA has recently added a warning to drug labeling stating that patients with known cardiac structural abnormalities or a family history of heart problems should not take these drugs. The FDA's decision to add these warnings was based on 25 cases of sudden cardiac death in children over a five-year period in which stimulant treatment was strongly correlated to the deaths. The rate of incidence of sudden cardiac death was found to be roughly the same for the general population. However, the FDA's findings are flawed because they rely on incomplete data that was voluntarily submitted. The investigation reveals a lack of definitive research on the long-term cardiovascular risks. Also lacking is a complete registry of adverse events related to stimulant treatment. Until the risks are completely understood, certain precautions should be taken. Patients already undergoing treatment should receive routine cardiovascular monitoring by their doctors. Those considering stimulant treatment should have a thorough cardio cardiovascular evaluation, including an EKG or heart scan, to make sure that there are no pre-existing heart conditions or cardiac abnormalities. For such widely prescribed drugs, the cardiovascular risks are quite unknown. This is unacceptable. Do your part. Write to your local representatives and demand thorough research by the FDA so that ADHD can be safely treated. Thank you.